to the final episode of Commercial Property Roadshow for 2020. We are here with Helen Tarrant and actually what I'm going to show you today is just a little bit of a highlight of some of the property deals that we've done in 2020. I know it's been a tough year and we've had some different ups and downs this year and that um, not all the property deals have come together quite well. I know we've had some finance and lending issues with some properties and I know some of the due diligence has been really, really hard but um, I want to still show you the highlights of this year and I'm just going to case study and show you about 10 of these properties um, and the cash flow they're getting and some of them are uplift properties some of the cash flow driven some of the are, are metro properties and some of them are regional properties so they're all different and they suit different types of property personalities different type of property investors so hopefully through them you get to see what has been this year and you get to see and identify the right properties that would work for you and if you of course want a personalized strategy don't forget to reach out to me at helentarrant.com and I'll be happy to jump on a strategy call and get you ready for 2021 because the most important thing in commercial property is to look for that cash flow but invest with security and confidence because you know what's the strategy behind each and every one of those properties so have a look and I'll see you on the other side
So now you've had a look at all the different properties and the highlights, you'll get to see that we've got some properties that are in regional that is going to give you high returns. So they've got higher risk because obviously in regional areas we are going to have slightly higher vacancies if your tenant does vacate. But it actually all comes down to how you properly manage the property. So whether you have a local property manager, whether you're able to talk to the, the tenant yourself and really organize for them to, you know, to actually take care of your property as if it's their own, um, whether all the works on the property has been done and well maintained. And of course, if you're doing uplift properties, there's strategies around um, how to lease out the property, what kind of agents to engage, what kind of incentives you are going to need. So there's lots and lots of different varieties depending on the strategy you're using with commercial property. Now, predominantly commercial property is about cash flow. So for us, um, it's we when we start a client out in the journey, we start them out with cash flow. We get them to have a look at where their cash flow position is, where they want to be three or five years down the track, and what kind of properties will suit them. And we take them through that journey so that they know the first property is going to give them cash flow. The second property probably gives them some equity. The third property probably gives them the chunk deal monies for them to able to move forward again. So it's all about building your portfolio out so that in the end you have diversity, you have security and you've got longevity in your portfolio and you've got a great spread of tenants all over the different states of Australia with different types of tenants because swings and roundabouts even though at the moment some people may not want to invest in office or retail they will come back again in a few years time there'll be hot property so it's good to have a variety and you know now you can get into the market and not follow the trend and buy properties at much higher yields while other people are chasing the hot trends and actually paying overprice for these properties so 2021 predictions are there's going to be lots of properties on the market that it, that are going to be hot and people are going to be paying overpriced for that. So really watch out for that. Look for the properties that other people are not looking for. Look for the properties that are slightly difficult. And then finally, these properties are actually going to help you build out a cash rich portfolio. Because if you follow the trend, what you'll get is lower returns and you're paying higher prices. But if you go against the trend, just like what I did in 2012, that's how I started my commercial property portfolio, you'll reap the rewards many, many years to follow. And remember, if you are holding property out for the long term in terms of growth, you're gonna hold them out for the next two to three years anyway. So you can buy any type of commercial property, whether it's retail, um, resi commercial, whether it's warehouse or whether it's office space, as long as you do your due diligence, you know what you're looking for. In any market, there's secure properties to buy, secure types of tenant, and make sure you do your due diligence. And we're here to help you and mentor you through that. So let us give you and help you with a timeline and a goal in 2021. Reach out to us at Helen at commercialpropertycashflow.com.au or helentarrant.com. And I look forward to helping you on your journey in 2021. Bye for now.